Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I bought a duplex for $49,000 that cash flows me $695 every single month. So to begin with, the property was first listed for $169,900 and I offered $150,000 for it, which was $19,900 less than what the seller was asking for. After sending my offer, the seller counted my offer at $155,000, which means my offer offer was rejected and replaced with another one. In this case, my $150,000 offer was replaced with the seller's new price of $155,000, meaning the seller would sell this property to me if I agreed to pay $155,000. To me, even paying $5,000 more than my original offer would still make sense because I had run the numbers and the math made sense. So I agreed to pay $155,000, but under one condition. The condition was that the seller would agree to give me a seller credit of $1,000 at closing. Now, for those who don't know, a seller credit is when a seller agrees to give you a credit at the end of your closing. And a closing is the final step in a real estate transaction. Real quick, you guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, please leave a like and please subscribe. Thank you. And now back to the seller credit. So you can use this credit towards your closing costs, which is what I did so that I would pay less money out of pocket and now let's talk about the loan I used so I purchased this property using a conventional loan a conventional loan is a type of mortgage loan that is not backed or insured by the government instead it is usually backed by private lenders which means the lender is at full risk when they lend you money in the case that you were ever to default and stop making your mortgage payments now because of this big risk the lender runs you're required to pay private mortgage insurance also known as PMI when you put a down payment less than 20%, which means you have two different insurances to pay if you put less than 20% down. Those two insurances will be home insurance and PMI. Now, let me explain why I don't pay PMI and how much down payment I put down for this property. So a conventional loan requires you to put 25% as a down payment if the home is going to be an investment property and if the property has two to four units. Now, since the property I bought is a duplex and a duplex consists of two units one on each side plus it was an investment property this meant for me that I had to put a down payment of 25% and 25% of the purchase price of $155,000 is $38,750 now back to what I said about the PMI since I put more than 20% down that means I do not have to pay PMI which is awesome because paying for PMI is like throwing your money away Lastly, with every home purchase, you have to pay closing costs. For those of you who don't know, closing costs are fees you pay at the end of a real estate transaction. In my case, I had to pay $10,830 in closing costs, which is pretty high, but it was high because of prepaid interest, prepaid tax, and insurance. But we can definitely talk more about closing costs in a whole nother video. So, so far we are here. Purchase price, $155,000 down payment $38,750, closing costs $10,830, giving us a total of $49,580, which means in total I paid $49,580 for this duplex. I know, I know, for some of you this might seem like a lot of money for just one property, but let's remember that the property cash flow $695 every single month, and that's a total of $8,340 yearly. Without me doing anything, I'm almost making an extra $8,000 $8,500 every single year. On top of that, I'm also getting a 16.80% cash on cash return on all the money I put into this property, which means every single dollar that I put into this property is making me money. But wait, there's more. This property appraised for more than the purchase price, which means this property is worth more than what I paid for it. So that means I have equity sitting on this property as well on top of all the other things. Overall, you guys, this property was a huge win-win for me because not only do I have equity sitting on the property. I also got a great price for the property and it is my first investment property that cash flows me almost $700 
every single month. And this, my friends, is called investing. My advice for you guys, start investing because it is better to invest your money and get a return on that money than to not have your money sit completely dead in a savings account. Anyways, you guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to comment, and make sure to subscribe. Give me some feedback in the comment section and let me know if you guys enjoy these types of videos so that I continue to make these types of videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with more videos. Bye.